Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to download iTunes to your computer for free using Windows 8.1. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. If you're not already on your desktop, let's go ahead from your start screen, go ahead and move your mouse cursor over to the desktop icon or app, click on it. Once you're on your desktop, open up an internet browser. I'm going to go ahead and use IE. You can use something like Firefox if you like. Once you have your internet browser open, go out to the iTunes download page. This is the address right here. Once you're on their website and on their web page, go ahead and go down and you'll see a couple of check marks here that are checked by default. I like to keep them checked because I want the extra information and the updates um, sent to me via my email and if you want to go ahead and put your email address right here also um, if you're not located in the United States be sure to put your location down right here as well and then once you've done that go down to the download now button here and click on that once I've done that that'll go ahead and start the download process and on IE I get this little prompt down here that asks me if I want to run or save the EXE. Um, I personally like to save the EXEs to my computer so I'm going to click on save and that way it'll download the uh, iTunes um, install to my computer and it doesn't take uh, too long normally it depends on the performance of your computer and the speed of your internet but once it's accomplished and the download of the iTunes setup files are downloaded to your computer. It'll run a little security scan. Once that's done, you can go ahead and go over to the right hand side here and click on the run button. That'll start the install process of iTunes on your computer and that will open up the welcome to iTunes window and we could go ahead and click on next here but before that I'm going to go up here and close the browser because we no longer need that open and we'll be able to see the uh, install process a little bit uh, clearer. Let me go ahead and click on the next button here and move along on the install. Now I'm going to take all the defaults here and once you decide to do that go ahead and click on install and it'll begin the installation but before that it'll ask you for user account control authorization and in this case I'm gonna say yes I do want to install iTunes onto my computer now sometimes you'll get that um, um, authorization window or prompt more than once sometimes it needs to be uh, told twice and we're going to go ahead and click on yes again because uh, it'll remove some old files if you have some old iTunes on your computer first and it needs permission to do that as well. Now the installation doesn't take too long depending on the speed of your computer and um, this is uh, going to go relatively fast on mine. Now once iTunes has completed installing iTunes on your computer you'll get this uh, last window which says congratulations and you could click finish here but I'm not going to do it yet I want to point out one last thing over on the left hand side it placed an icon an iTunes icon on my desktop for me and now I'm going to click on finish and uh, that opens up the new installation of iTunes um, onto my desktop and at this point I can go ahead and go over and either scan for media or go to the iTunes store and in this video tutorial I'm just going to go to the iTunes store and we'll open that up and uh, as you can see it uh, has music um, that's available for downloading to your computer and can be played on the Apple media player alright um, that's it for this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and like my video.